I'm Rennie Curran. I'm a former professional athlete, keynote speaker, author, and the CEO of Game Changer Coaching. Crushed by Rennie Curran. After starting five games as a freshman, Curran was all SEC as a sophomore. Watch this true freshman find a way to the football and lay one on I was a guy who was labeled as undersized. So people didn't even think I was going to play at University of Georgia. He is hammered by Randy Curran. He is one of the best linebackers in Georgia history. Anybody who is working so hard and it seems like you're not getting where you want to be, continue to work hard, continue to keep that faith, continue to surround yourself with the right team. How y'all doing? <laughs> How y'all doing? Yeah. Golly, it feels so good to be back, man. Um, it's an honor. I can say so many things about just what the G means to me. And um, when I think about my journey just to get here, as Coach Kirby said, I was a kid who grew up right down the street, Snellville, Georgia. My little league coach brought me to the stadium at 10 years old. And I remember sitting on the 50 yard line and looking out and seeing those amazing players, guys like David Green, David Pollock, and just dreaming about one day wearing a jersey. And in between that and actually it becoming a reality, man, there's so many different challenges. I heard I was, I was that short linebacker. I, I remember coming up here sneaking into practice because I knew one guy and I would come up here, no lie, this time of the year with Timberland boots on and a hoodie on just to look a little bit bigger. Like, no lie, just to sneak in, just to, so I could hit 5'11", you know, and it was, it was so much work, so much sacrifice, but it was worth it. It's been said so many times, but this is family. This is family, and when you put that jersey on, man, it's like you don't realize how many guys have come before you. But it's, it's special, how many guys have sacrificed, how many guys have bled, have sweat, have put in time, effort, how many people have donated, People who care so much about this, other young kids who watch you and, and then years later, they're like, man, I remember. I remember. I mean, I meet fans, guys. To this day, I ain't played at UGA since 2009. And I got to give a shout out to Coach, Coach Harley, Coach Jancy, my two coaches who were here when I was here, but I haven't played here since 2009. And I still get people coming up to me, whether it's on a plane, whether it's at a speaking engagement, whether it's at a school, no matter where I'm at, they're like, man, Thank you for what you did. I can't imagine another place where it would be like that. Like, this is not just football, guys. Like, this is low-key a religion. <laughs> like, it's that deep. I was just in Jekyll Island two days ago speaking to the superintendent's group, Georgia Bulldog fans. I'm going to Dallas on Monday to speak to a medical company. CEO is a Georgia Bulldog owner. Alumni, that's how special it is. So it's not just, you're not just making a commitment for now. This is a lifetime commitment. <laughs> and it goes on and on and on. And I will tell you guys, for those of y'all who are committed and those who are thinking about committing, if you come here and you work hard, you, you bust your ass on that field. And not only that, but you treat people right. You humble yourself. You treat people with respect. You treat these coaches with respect and you get labeled as what they call a DGD, which is a damn good dog, you are good. You are good for life. It don't matter where you go, or anywhere, not just in this state, Dallas, New York, California, wherever you go, you will be respected. And most of all, you will have the opportunity to make an impact. Because that's what was special for me. It wasn't just about me getting here and playing. I came from a home, guys, where my parents were both Liberian immigrants who came to this country with nothing. My mom came here on scholarships in Emory with $10 in her pocket. My dad worked 12 hours a day in a shoe repair shop. That was my beginnings. And so to be able to inspire not only the kids in Snellville who looked up and said, man, Rennie, maybe, Rennie Curran did, maybe, maybe I have a chance. 
I'm not that type of man, but he did it. Maybe I have a chance. But also, farther in Liberia, inspire the kids out there who may never have an opportunity, who was special. And so that's what you have the opportunity to do. I know all you all here have so many aspirations, so many things that you want to do. And it starts here. It starts with the decision that you make. And so, just wrapping up, man, I wish you guys all the best. And I'm, I'm here for you guys. Whether you, you know, no matter what decision you make, I want all of you guys to come here. But regardless, I want to see all you guys be successful in life. And that's the special thing about coming here. You're not just getting this coaching staff. You're not just getting the resources. You're not just getting the education. The brand, I can talk all day about branding. But you are going to join a fraternity. You're going to join a brotherhood. When I joined, when I came here as a freshman, one of the first guys that connected me, with me was Thomas Davis. Next guy, Heinz Ward. Like, I got to go to their house. They gave me knowledge, poured into me. My sophomore year, my daughter, Ileana, she's sitting right over there. She was, she was born. I became a father as a sophomore. And so many guys wrapped their arms around me and just blessed me and helped me. And now she's 12 years old. She's about to be almost taller than me. <laughs> guys got a sense of humor. <laughs> but I share those stories just to say that when you sign up here, when you commit, that you're going to have me as a brother. And you're going to have so many other brothers who have come through here that are going to be a phone call away, regardless of what you need. And that's what's special. We talk about family, and it's real. The brotherhood is real. What you're getting is real. Everything that you see here is real. And so I'm going to wrap up because they said I got eight, month, eight minutes. I'm not going to talk too much, but it's an honor to be here, man. I love being a, a bulldog, and I'm always going to be a bulldog for life, man. So with that being said, no dogs. Yeah.